Hello chess friends and welcome to the start of chess channel and welcome to another great game that I decided to share with you today played by the new stalkers version played by the new stalkers 15 engine against another engine topo the game was played uh, on, a, on the official TCEC chess website and uh, I wanted to show this game because it's in the Karakhan defense and I think the Karakhan defense is now one of the most popular responses to e4 especially in the beginner level I tried it also out when I uh, started to play chess uh, I really didn't know what to play against e4 then Karo Khan was also one of my choices but still there are so many structural and positional weaknesses in this opening and uh, here you see how Stockfish will destroy uh, the Karo Khan defense in an easy and beautiful tactical way by playing a beautiful peace sacrifice so uh, I'm sure that probably Karo Khan defense player will not love this game because it shows as I said really really this main main weaknesses of this opening so let's see now how Stockfish 15 destroyed the Karo Khan defense so here E4 was played by Stockfish Stockfish uh, topple uh, that was um, Stockfish opponent played c6 the Karo Khan knight to c3 and after move d5 we have now the move knight to f3 which is now the two knights attack so what do you do here from white's uh, party from black's perspective many times of course this is uh, the main line uh, d takes uh, e4 now after move knight to e4 you could play several things you can play of course knight to f6 this would lead probably after knight to f6 into some lines after e takes f6 or so g takes f6 were okay black could have have maybe a double pawn structure but with the pawn on f6 and pawn on c6 would control very important uh squares in the center of the board so what black could also do is maybe instead of this move knight to f6 could play bishop to g4 uh this would be also a decent idea then after bishop uh, h3 bishop to f3 queen to f3 then e6 would be the normal line knight to d7 and uh, knight to f6 uh, bishop to d bishop to e7 building a really nice defensive setup but okay in this game after move knight to e4 the pre-arranged line was the move knight to d7 because still black wants to play knight to f6 without being uh, challenged with the move knight to f6 because then you you can recapture of course with this other knight and then you don't have to mess up your pawn structure you don't have to have this double pawn structure on the f file so that's why the move knight to d7 is a preparation to play knight to f6 so we have bishop to c4 normal development here by stockfish uh, stockfish 15 we have e6 and now d4 simply occupying the center of the board so knight to f6 we have knight takes f6 you see now knight to f6 is now the normal idea and okay let's stop and evaluate a little bit now this Karo Khan position from black's perspective it's okay you have defended you don't have uh so far so many weaknesses you your opponent doesn't have immediately an attack against your king but what i never really never liked about the Karo Khan defense is uh, this bishop's activity on c8 so it's simply too blocked out by its own pawn structure and uh, you see now white's activity is much much better the dark square bishop is playing the light square bishop is playing the knight is controlling the center of the board and even if you'd play something here after kingside casting even if you try to maybe improve a little bit the, the pawn structure in the center by playing the move c5 in my opinion this is simply not working because uh, white doesn't have to even react here you can play c takes d4 but now you don't even have to take out the pawn immediately because this pawn is weak anyway and for instance if bishop to c5 happens then we can play bishop to e5 we can attack further this pawn by playing rook from f to d1 or rook from a to d1 and then we could have a powerful setup again so basically in my opinion the position didn't change still you haven't improved your uh, light square problem uh the light square bishop problem still it's blocked out by its own pawn structure so as i said in my opinion uh this is not a good position for black the engine gives here already a plus one evaluation for white so as i said after move uh, kingside casting here bishop to d6 was played by um uh, topple and okay this is uh, the square that's optimal for the dark bishop but it has also um its problems because now you cannot compete on this diagonal because you are here from rook to e1 and kingside casting stockfish pinned this knight immediately by playing bishop to g5 and you see now the queen is a little bit stuck to the defense of of the knight because the bishop is not protecting the knight the bishop is now on a more active score so th that's also a problem i think in the karo khan defense where to go with the dark square bishop if you play too actively with the dark square bishop then you are not defending your knight on f6 if you're playing i don't know uh too passive with the bishop then of course you that you don't have any counter play because this isn't as we said the optimal score for the dark square bishop so after move bishop to g5 we have now the crucial mistake of this game here um, in, in, in the continuation b6 was played by top and this is now a huge huge positional problem because the c6 pawn now is a structural weakness a better idea was to play maybe 
maybe bishop to e7 then uh white should play here knight to e5 semantic the position around the square and then after c5 uh, this would be again the way to liberate yourself at least a little bit because we have to say it at least uh the white has a decent peace activity so it was simply now time maybe to break and open a position when the king is secured and when black could maybe at least somehow defend his position so still it's a plus one evaluation position here for white but this was maybe a way to go and defend somehow so but okay b6 is now a huge weakness because now knight to e5 was played immediately uh here by uh stockfish if you play bishop to e5 and okay d takes e5 uh then you can quit uh, take queen takes d1 a rook to b1 and now after knight to d5 okay the knight is perfectly fine there but we have to say that this knight will not stay there forever still we can play something like bishop to e2 and then with c4 this knight will be kicked away look at this bishop to e7 in the near future could happen uh bishop to d6 uh, so the bishop pair is here much much better so here the continuation as we said after move b6 and knight to e5 we have queen to uh, c7 was played by um topple but now comes a beautiful and sharp attack by the stockfish engine so here bishop to f6 perfectly fine as we said uh the queen has left now the defense of the knight and at least we have provoked some structural weaknesses we have created now uh, we have created now this double pawn structure on the f file so after g takes f6 now this is the must know attack against the cattle Khan. so here stockfish uh of course is not retreating with the knight stockfish plays now queen to h5 attacks now the king side immediately of course the knight is hanging and what to do here from black's perspective uh you have to take here I, now i think even if you take with the bishop nothing dramatically changed because here after something like um d takes uh, e5 okay you could maybe take but now with rook to uh, e3 rook to g3 uh this position is simply tactical loss for black so that's why after move queen to h5 we have uh f takes e5 so stockfish sacrifice the piece but now after queen to g5 we have king to h8 now first to check this move order is very important because you have to play first a blockade uh, against this f pawn because if this um pawn will get mobile then of, of course um the queen could be used as a defensive piece so that's why you have to place uh first this couple of checks and then after move uh, king to g8 now it's simply time to include the rook into the game and uh, you're threatening already a beautiful checkmate on g4 so that's why rook to d8 has to be played here by um topple in order to create some escape routes for for the king so here after move rook to d8 stockfish plays now finally d takes e5 and you see now you have to play this first couple moves with the queen and then you have to include first the rook into the game and now it's simply time to play this beautiful tempo of course bishop to um uh, bishop to f8 is not working because you get checkmated here you can just cover yourself but still queen to g7 is checkmate so that's why you can never really bring more pieces into the defense because they're cutting off the potential escape route for the king and we have to say it also as we said the queen on f6 is building a beautiful blockade uh it's not allowing uh here black to play f5 and maybe cover further the g7 square so this is now a perfect perfect attacking setup played by stockfish so after move um, uh d takes e5 we, oh, sorry let's go back after move d takes e5 here bishop to c5 was played by topple and now c3 this is a beautiful move because it's cutting off the further activity here by the dashko bishop so the dashko bishop is basically paralyzed uh the dashko bishop doesn't have any good squares so the here in the continuation we have uh, a5 uh, we're trying here from black's perspective to bring maybe uh, the light square bishop into the game but it's not a problem because still stockfish has some attacking resources stockfish plays now rook to h4 and what you do here uh from black's perspective how do you defend this position even if you try i don't know to simplify the game by playing something like bishop to a6 this is not working as i said in the beginning of the video the light square bishop many times is a huge huge position positional problem in black's camp so after move bishop to a6 this development is simply too slow because now you get simply queen to g5 you have to play king to f8 now we take um uh, take out the pawn on h7 even if you try of course bishop to c4 then rook to h8 is again a beautiful beautiful checkmate so that's why you have to play king to e8 in this position but now with bishop to e6 the game is tactically lost again uh here for instance the um 
in the f7 is weak you can also create this annoying check on gx so it's a position that black should resign so this is really not working so you don't have time uh, after rook to h4 to include your light square bishop into the game so that's why here king to f8 was played we have a rook to h7 and now king to e8 so here topple is trying to at least somehow escape with the king so now g4 this is a beautiful move because we are threatening g5 uh, g6 you see the queen is paralyzed here by black as we said also the bishop is always paralyzed so bishop to a6 is never working because of the threat of bishop takes e6 so this is something that we should not forget so the queen is paralyzed also you cannot create some escape routes with the queen because you get always threatened by this check the problem when the bishop is not playing also that this rook is not playing so basically with this setup stockfish has paralyzed every piece on the queen side which is really really incredible so here bishop to f8 was played by um topple we have g5 we have now this idea queen to e7 but of course queen to f4 stockfish is not trying to simplify the game stockfish is trying to stay with the pieces on the board so we have b5 bishop to e2 rook to d7 and now comes this beautiful uh pawn move g6 creates really some damage here on the seventh rank so we have queen to c5 we have uh, g7 bishop takes g7 rook to g7 and after king to d8 now rook to d1 uh, here stockfish now go goes now for the simplification because stockfish is up a whole pawn and goes now into favorable blame game where of course we have this um uh, pass pawn on the h file and now what we should do is simply trade off everything simplify the game not complicate things and uh win the game win an easy end game so here after move rook to d1 we have rook to a7 h4 rook to d1 bishop to d1 and now after rook to d7 again bishop to f3 uh creating also a very nice defender set up here around the king so we have uh, b4 uh, h5 bishop to a6 we have uh, h6 bishop to d3 and now after h7 uh, here the top engine had to sacrifice the piece back here after move rook to uh, h7 it was pretty much game over for black so b takes c3 b takes c3 queen to c3 king to g1 queen to g2 we have queen to d4 and after queen to f6 king to c8 now uh, we have this continuation queen to c4 stop for simply improves uh, the position of the pawn a4 we have um, a rook to a king to c7 rook takes d7 king to d7 and now after a couple more moves here stockfish plays a beautiful end game move queen to c6 is now simplifying the game uh, no uh, complications are possible anymore for black in the continuation we have queen to c6 king to uh, c6 here and now after move king to g3 we have f4 and it's obviously a completely winning end game here for for white so here we had uh, king to d4 king to g4 we have king to e4 now king to uh, g5 king to d4 king to f6 now we have this one and uh, black has to step back from the defense of the pawn and after king to e6 in this position topple resign so what to say in amazing incredible attack uh, played by the stockfish 15 engine uh, against the karo khan i really loved this uh, setup uh, let's go back this potential peace sacrifice that's why i decided really to share this game with you because it's i think a must know attack in the karo khan defense when you meet maybe many times this position let's see queen to c7 you just sacrifice and now you sneak in with the queen you can give up the piece you just play first a couple of checks and now rook to e4 is even a huge huge threat so here we have uh rook to d8 and now after this one basically uh black is facing many many positional and tactical problems so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game if you want to see more brutal and beautiful attacks like this check out my comment chat games played by computers with some more games played by stockfish 15 alpha zero lila zero dragon engine and many many more and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and chess is the best of course